त्रयंबकाय त्रिपुरांतकाय त्रयंबकाय त्रिपुरांतकाय लव इज नॉट एन इंस्ट्रूमेंट ऑफ कन्वीनियंस इट इज अ प्रोसेस ऑफ सेल्फ एंड हालेशन आई यू रेडी in some way to fall apart you know falling in love it means something of you should fall so we need to understand this if something larger than yourself need to happen to you what you have made yourself to be that is your creation should fall apart only then something of the creator's creation will touch you to be in love means just that that it is not about your thought and emotion a dimension beyond you has become a part of you if it matures it becomes devotion if it further matures it leads to dissolution so may we bless with this possibility that something beyond you happens to you life is a fabulous phenomenon for one who knows how to ride it one who knows how to ride a wave <laughs> you can see how fantastic and fabulous it is one who does not learn how to ride it will get crushed by it threatened by it a really good wave rider his dream would be a tsunami <laughs> what everybody thinks is great danger he would like to ride that so it is just a question of skill and competence This is what spiritual sadhana is about. Spirituality is not a disability, it's a tremendous empowerment. If you do the right amount of work with yourself, you can ride any wave of life in whichever form it comes. It is my wish and my blessing every one of you should become wave riders. Whatever life throws at you, you should be able to ride it and know the joy of living because this is a limited amount of time. Anger is not action it's just a reaction in a state of reaction you naturally are in a state of enslavement we need to understand this when something other than the deepest core of yourself determines what you do and how you are that's enslavement well anger is a sure way of being enslaved but a whole lot of people think anger is a kind of empowerment yes if you have donkeys around you you might have produced some results with anger but you tried every day <laughs> after some time nobody will be around you who you are is entirely your making so at least the way you are should be to your liking if you're not even to your liking ha huh, why should the rest of the world suffer you <laughs> this one thing you must do this is a fundamental responsibility and this is something that you deserve that you must be to your liking that means at least when you're alone you are well when we deal with the world there are many challenges but at least when you're alone you must be a wonderful happening this is something you must do this is what spiritual process means that you made yourself to your own liking well some people will like you <laughs> some people will not like you but if you're not to your liking then what is the point this is what karma means that your life is your making make it happen that your life is pleasant in experience to yourself once that happens you will see in some way you will be to everybody's liking there'll always be some people who dislike everything it's all right it's their freedom to do that but the most important thing is that you are happening the way you want yourself to be let's make it happen in engineering i'm telling you you must engineer yourself the way you want 
Otherwise, what's the point of living here? See, how to address the larger issues of my life? There are no large issues in your life. <laughs> Somebody needs to help me understand that. <laughs> <laughs> What is the large issue that you're talking about? It is just about what job to take, which girl to marry, that, that you know, it. where to go for vacation, <laughs> whether, whether to get married or not get married, you know? These are the things, isn't it? Right. These are not large issues, these are little things in your life. Yes, oh, is it just a small thing whom I get married to? I'm not saying it's a small thing. But as an issue, it's a small issue, little issue. As a consequence to your life, yes, it has many things. But this is something that human beings have done for millions of years. We have enough experience on these things, <laughs> isn't it? We know that whatever job we take, whoever we marry, it is just the way we make out of it. Every experience of life, you can make it an enriching experience. Every experience in your life, you can make a curse out of it. See, there is nothing wrong in your job, whatever job you're doing. There's nothing wrong getting this job, there's nothing wrong, wrong in losing this job. There's nothing wrong in getting married, there's nothing wrong in getting divorced. There's nothing wrong in not getting married. There is nothing wrong in anything, there is nothing wrong in this or that. But it is just that you make misery out of it, that's wrong. If you do this, you make misery out of it. If you do that, you make misery out of it. That's what is wrong with you. So you got married, is it wrong? That's not the point. There's nothing wrong with it. You did not get married, is it wrong? No, there's nothing wrong with it, that's wonderful too. You got divorced, is it wrong? No, that's also wonderful. It is just that you make misery out of everything, that's what is wrong. You just address that one issue, everything will be settled. That's what we are looking at. How not to make misery out of everything. If this one thing is settled, everything is settled, isn't it? Yes? If you know how to walk through this world joyfully, through marriage and divorce and celibacy and everything, if you know how to walk through this joyfully, what is the problem? Whatever you do is beautiful, isn't it? <laughs> that comes next. <laughs> if you don't even know how to be happy, don't have such goals as realization. They are very far away from you. See, you are just dismissing something very fundamental to your life with a stupid definition. Happiness is not just a state of mind, it is just the basis of the quality of life that you live here, isn't it? Is it such a small thing, happiness? Oh, it's just a state of mind. Is it a small thing? It's the biggest issue, isn't it? In your book you have written, this is the minimum thing to do in life is yes. to be happy. Yes. And if I do that in the entire life, will I be fulfilling my life? No. No, I didn't say that. I said, if that is not possible, forget realization and all that nonsense. It's not even in your sphere. If you are capable of going through this world joyfully, then you could talk about going beyond. If you are not even capable of going through this joyfully, Talking about beyond is no good. There is no way, I'm telling you. There is simply no way for a person who is constantly creating inner battles all the time. How will he deal with the bondages of life and how will he transcend that? There's no question. It doesn't arise in your life. So first thing is working towards to be a blissful human being. If that happens, the rest becomes very simple because a blissful human being, once your happiness is not at stake, anything that's needed you will do, isn't it? 
Right now you cannot do what's needed because always your happiness is at stake. You are thinking what, which is the right thing to do, which is the right thing to do. There is no right thing to do in your life. There is no wrong thing to do in your life. If you know how not to make misery out of everything that you do, whatever you're doing is the right thing. If you're making misery out of everything that you do, everything that you do is the wrong thing. So that's the only issue you have to look at. <laughs> Others are all petty things. What does it matter? Which way you do it? Hey, hey, hey.